Hello. It's me, just me, just Dorcas. Hadn't talked to you in a while or shared with you in a while, and I thought I would reach out to you so I can stay present and try to continue to motivate people as I try to do in my life and encourage folks. Um, recently, I had a birthday and enjoyed my birthday, and a lot of things have been going on in my in my life, and and my mind just doesn't seem to settle down sometimes. I wanted to share something with you because I, I think a lot of people go through what I'm going through in their mind, but my mind seems not to rest here lately. And a lot of my mind thought has been about what could have happened. Um, there have been events that have, that have come across my path that could have been very detrimental or very changing in my life. And for the grace of God, they didn't happen but my mind kept going back to what could have happened what if this had happened oh my god what if what if you know and, and that what if and what could have and what if you know those kind of things seem to almost run me tired in my brain and i know i've talked to some people and they deal with the what ifs and the anxiety of thinking about what if what if this had happened what if this had happened so i was talking to my husband about it and i said this is it's just taking up too much space in my life it's taking up too much space in my mind when i lay down to rest i think about a lot of stuff but the what ifs and and what could have what if this had happened always seems to run rampant and i was talking to him about it and i said you know uh, why do we spend so much time on the what ifs? Why do we think so much if, what if I had run into that car? Or what if that car had run into me, but it didn't? Or what if the pot on the stove had caught fire and it would have burned the house down and then we could have been, but it didn't. And you know, you can go on and on and on about the what ifs because I'm sure you have had those what if, what could have happened that play bigger in your head than what actually happened. And what I realized is that those anxieties of what ifs and what could have happened and oh my God, what if this had happened, that's Satan's way to divert you from what actually did happen, the blessing that actually did happen that prevented the what ifs from happening. Satan is deceptive. Satan comes in and he will make you just get off track before you even realize I'm really off track. Not realizing the blessing <laughs> that we got. You know, you, you didn't get in that car accident. That's the blessing. Oh, I was saved. That's the blessing. The house didn't burn down because the pot stayed on the stove and started smoking. That's the blessing, not the what if. So I'm trying to calm my mind down from so many what ifs and what could have happened by just focusing on the blessing. And may you be blessed in remembering, stop the what ifs, stop what could have happened. What could have happened, what if this happened? It didn't, the blessing happened. And may you focus more on that than the what ifs like I'm trying to do. Be blessed.